Happy Chocolate Day! So this week in class, we didn't really get a chance to talk about Isabella Whitney's poem, so I'm going to. So the poem is called Tour on Constant Lover, so I think we can sort of tell what this is going to be about. There's this girl, presumably Elizabeth Whitney, and she's really into this guy, and at one point this guy was really into her too. This guy, who is a total jerk, runs off, uh, starts seeing another girl, now they're getting married, and our poor Isabella is heartbroken. Seriously. Come on, man, why would you leave this girl? She is super into you, and she writes killer poetry. Come on. That, that's like anything anyone could ever ask for. And like, Elizabethan girls are like, smoking. That dog cone. Oof. Okay, so Isabella's pretty crushed, and in proper Renaissance fashion, she decides to pour out her grief in verse. And this poem is basically just a prototypical heartbroken love song. This is actually like the forerunner of every Taylor Swift song ever. Now, I suppose you can sort of read this poem either sarcastically or genuinely. If you read this poem sarcastically, it's pretty fantastic. She just comes off as really bitter and she's just slamming on her ex for leaving her. But I think I would read this poem more genuinely than that. In which case, Isabella just comes off as still being hopelessly in love with this guy. I mean, she talks about how unfaithful he was and comparing him to womanizers from Roman myth like Jason, Aeneas, and Theseus, etc. I'm kind of shocked she doesn't mention Jove. But then, instead of telling the guy off like he deserves, she starts to wish him well with his new wife. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you cheated on me. But I guess I hope you have a fantastic life and that you have more gold than the richest kings in history and that your wife is as beautiful as Helen, and really faithful, and smart, and perfect. And I just hope you live peacefully forever. Bye. Isabella was really, 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 really into this guy. Izzy, honey, let me talk to you. You gotta move on, darling. You are so much better than him. I mean, you might be alone on Valentine's Day, but that's okay, because you are so much better off without him. And hey, you are the first woman ever to write secular poetry. Ever. And that makes you a catch, if I ever saw one. Hey guys, you guys get it? That that was an apostrophe, because I was, I was addressing somebody who can't hear me. <laughs> you know, because she's dead. She died hundreds of years ago. Uh, I'm sorry, that, that was too soon. Yeah, so what I concluded from this poem is that sometimes relationships suck, sometimes feelings suck, and breakups always suck. Even, like, hundreds of years ago. On second thought, maybe this wasn't the best poem for Valentine's Day. So, uh, public service announcement, don't ever read this poem to your partner. Ever. And on that lovely note, uh, happy Valentine's Day, Sarah. I will see you in a couple of weeks.